Son of a bitch, mother fucker. What the f is happening? This is f***ing bullshit. What the f is this? All of them? Son of a bitch. Takata, really? Fucking shit. This is some bullshit. What the f***? God damn it. Really? We've got more Takata recalls. Hey guys, it's Ken here with 4 Wheel Online. Today we're gonna talk about the latest news in the Takata airbag recall and how you can find out if your vehicle is on the list. Honestly, this whole thing is a disaster. It's so convoluted and beyond difficult to figure out what's even happening. The brief rundown is that Japanese company Takata manufactured non-desiccated airbags, which don't have enough drying agent to combat humidity. Like the kind we get in Florida where you just walk from your front door to your mailbox and you're drenched in sweat. Problems occur after years of exposure to heat and humidity. When these airbags deploy, they can do so with far too much force. If that happens, the inflator, a metal cartridge, may rupture shooting pieces through the airbag straight into the person it's supposed to protect. And there's been a number of cases where things went wrong. One man bled to death after a piece of metal slid his jugular vein, and another woman in Orlando looked like she had been shot, according to police. Not what I want happening when my airbag deploys. On May 4th, 2016, Takata recalled another 35 to 40 million vehicles, adding to the already 29 million that were recalled in 2014, for a grand total of just 70 million. Holy fuck, that's a lot of recalls. The recalls even got recalled. Some of the replacement bags could have the same issues down the line. And then this week, we found out Toyota, FCA, Volkswagen, and Mitsubishi were still using airbags that would eventually have to be recalled. How can they do that, you ask? Well, this is such a huge recall, the biggest recall in the history of anything, that the NHTSA is requiring the recalls to be filed by manufacturers with a rolling deadline of up to 2018. Now, let's be clear. That's just the date that the recalls have to be filed. The airbags had to be replaced by December 31st, 2019. Now, that's three years of more potential deaths and injuries. And that's if Takata can even manufacture enough airbags to replace all 70 million of them. A Japanese woman is now filing criminal charges against Nissan and Takata after a piece of metal from the airbag was removed from her wounds. Her vehicle was recalled in 2015, but when she brought it in to be replaced, the dealership didn't have enough replacement parts at the time. Seems like a valid case. Recalls within the US are being prioritized and are going in three zones based on temperature and humidity. Zone A is described as hot and humid and include the South, California, Hawaii, and other small islands in the US. Zone B and C are less hot and humid and they include, well, the rest of the country. In 2015, CBS said Takata tested 30,000 airbags and just 265 ruptured, which is only a 0.8%. That means you are much more likely to be saved by your airbag than injured by it. So don't do anything like disable your airbag. Our poll today is how do you think Takata should be held responsible? Should they be fined? Should they be barred from selling airbags in the United States? Should their assets be sold and the company completely shut down? Vote in our poll right here. Do you have any other ideas for Takata's fate? Let us know in the comments. So how can you find out if your vehicle is included in this recall? In the US, just go to this website. There, you can enter your VIN and get all the details. It's probably a good idea to check this every few months since there is still a few years left of this. Make sure you like, love, and share our video with all your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. We post a news refresh every Friday. I'm Ken with 4 Wheel Online, and you've just been refreshed.